Jason Allen here from Play It Software. Today we're going to look at the new features in Play It Live version 2.06. So in this video today, we're going to take a look at web links and the new context menu on the playout log and track list, track play analysis, and the new screen size responsive playout log. Stick around to the end for a new special announcement as well. So let's take a look at the first new feature, which is web links. So here we are once again in Players 80s and we are currently playing Inner City and Good Life. Now it's coming up to the next break and I want to talk about this artist and I want to find out some information quickly. Now normally I could go off to Google and Google for Inner City and find the link for Wikipedia and click that link and read the article. But now I can quickly go to that article with a few clicks. So on Play It Live, I can click on the new three dots icon, which will open the context menu for this item. And I can click on Wikipedia and Inner City. And this will launch the Inner City article within Wikipedia and I can get going very quickly. Equally, I can go back to Play It Live, click the three dots and click on Inner City and Good Life. And that'll bring up the song by Inner City Good Life in Wikipedia, and I can read this article. It's also possible for you to create your own web links in Play It Live, and I can do this by going to File and Settings and clicking on the Web Links tab. Now you can see that we already have the two web links that we just demonstrated, and this is utilizing the power of DuckDuckGo to quickly go to the first website that it finds in the match. For example, in here I have it querying for artist, band, and the site is wikipedia.org. So this will make sure that we're finding an artist that is actually a band and not just some random word. So if I had something like Simple Minds, there's no guarantee it would find that without the word band on the end. So these are the two defaults that you get within Play It Live to begin with but you can create your own. So for example, if I just wanted to Google for the artist, I can just go to add, I can type in Google artist as the display text. So we'll say Google colon and then the name of the artist and the URL or web address that I want to navigate to will be https www.google.com slash search question mark Q equals artist. So what this is doing, it's replacing artist with the name of that artist as the Q parameter in search on Google. You can find plenty of other examples for the web links in the documentation for Play It Live. So I can click OK on here. It will add this item to the settings and I can click on OK. So now very quickly before this track finishes, I can click on the three dots click on Google Inner City, and it will quickly show me the results for Googling Inner City. So the first thing here we get is uh, Wikipedia, but I might go down here and go to the Discogs uh, item instead. Going back to Play It Live, we've already talked about the uh, three dots menu item, but you can also simply just right click on the item, which will expand the item within Play It Live. And here we also get all the items that we have within the item itself. So where we could normally click the X to eject, you can also eject via the menu item. On other items in the future, we can also edit the segue, which is the same thing as hitting the pencil icon. The right click menu is also been added to the track list on the right hand side. So I can right click an item and I can now also edit track within the track list. Yes, you can now edit the tracks from the main interface. So in this example for Barry Manilow and Could It Be Magic, I simply want to remove the 1993 version text from the title. So I can click on edit track 
This will bring up the familiar track editor interface and I can just remove the title from here. I click on save track and this will update the item within the list straight away. So there's no need to go to manage and then tracks and then find the track and then click edit. You can do it straight from the track list. So the next feature to talk about is track play analysis. This has been one of the top requested features on the website, so I'm really happy to be delivering this. You wanted to see how many times a track was played in a given time range. This is useful if you are running an airplay chart show, or you just want to check that you have the correct balance of track plays. So you can find this new feature under tools and track play analysis. And by default, this will select the past 24 hours. I can click on analyze and I can see those plays or I can select, for example, the past month. So I can click on the 1st of January at midnight and I can select the 1st of February at midnight and I can click on analyze. So this will look through all the past logs and find out how many times a track was played and also which track groups that track is in. So I can also sort on the number of plays if I want to see which tracks were played the most frequently. I can also export this to a CSV by clicking on export and I can select the name for this track. I'm just going to overwrite one I created earlier and click on yes. This will bring this up in File Explorer and I can open this in Excel. And I can expand out the columns and this is the same list as you will see in Play It Live. You can also export this to Google Sheets or whatever other spreadsheet tool you wish and you can then perform further analysis. And the final thing to talk about today is the screen size responsive playout log. You may have noticed that each playout log item here in Playout Live version 2.06 is slightly narrower than in previous versions. They're about 20% narrower, so you can now fit more log items on the screen. This is an HD screen, so 1920 by 1080. But if you have a smaller screen, such as a laptop, Playout Live will now make the items even narrower so that you can still see a decent number of log items on the screen. If I make this smaller, you'll see that the items in the playout log now get narrower. If I adjust this ever so slightly, you'll see where the breaking point is of when they snap to be smaller. So this means if you have a smaller screen, you'll be able to view more items than you previously could in playout live. That's everything to show in this new version of Play It Live, but there's just one more thing. We are launching a new product. It's called My Cart Wall, and you can find this by going to mycartwall.com. Now, if you're familiar with Play It Cart Wall, this is intended to be an access from anywhere cart wall that you can use in the web browser. Here you can drag and drop tracks from your computer and drop them into each of these carts. And since it's in the web, that means it will work on Mac and Linux, as well as on mobile devices. So I can drag and drop my jingle here and click to play it. All your favorite music. This is Play It Radio. And it will play in the web browser. This is still in development, which means if you click on any of these items, it will pop up a box and ask you to give some feedback. Please, please take this survey. It will help massively with the development of my cart wall and it will really help develop its future. That's everything I want to show today for Played Live and my cart wall. I've been Jason Allen from Play It Software. <laughs>